Well, welcome to Speaking of Horses. I'm your host, Wayne Williams, and we're ready to go right here with some of the great stories from the horse industry. So join us as we get ready to go Speaking of Horses right here on this station. Well, hey, welcome to Speaking of Horses. And uh, today on the radio show, my guest uh, is Mr. John Klo. Now, John runs the Northwest Horse Fair and Expo. It's a, a really nice horse fair and expo in Albany, Oregon. And the unique thing about this, so I think to me, is that John and, and uh, his wife Judy and, and Lisa, they're all in uh, Greencastle, Indiana, but they run this wonderful show in Oregon. So, John, uh, first of all, welcome, and second of all, how'd that happen? <laughs> <laughs> well, it goes back, this is 19 years we've had that event. <clears throat> it goes back to the uh, AQHA judge that we had to do a horse show for us, and he also knew about the Hoosier Horse Fair, which we were running at that time, and he said, you ought to come out to Oregon and do one because there's none out there. And I said, well, we don't know anybody out there where to go. He said, oh, they just built the new Lynn County Fairgrounds, and he was a uh, boot rep, so so got my boots to dealers. He said, I'll give you a list of all my dealers and make contacts for you. And I flew out there and looked at it and looked at the facility, and the rest of it's history. Well, it's a nice facility. It really works well for that event. Yes, it is. It's very user-friendly. Yep. Well, that's and that's the key. I mean, you know, when people come in, the shopping, the horses, the educational part, the entertainment part, it all needs to be... Um, uh, kind of concise uh, you don't want it too spread out and that's not and you know 90 percent of it is inside yeah. so yeah. and we all know that on that uh, pacific northwest coast there's a, an issue sometimes with rain and, and not really snow but cool rainy damp weather and this uh this gets you out of that situation most everything is in a in a climate controlled area, a few of the things are in a building not heated, but it's not that bad. So it works yeah, out very yeah. well. Well, they, they've got all the walkways covered. So if it's a little bit of rain, you can go from one, one building to the other with, with under a covered uh, walkway. So that makes it even, even a lot better for, uh, for the, the, yeah. the flow of the people. There's a lot of horses in that area of the country. Oh, yes. Yes, there is a lot. And, and that... Uh, you know, that says a lot, too. Now, the majority of the horses out there, I I think like all other areas, the, the biggest percentage is in trail riding and backyard use. But when you put this expo together, you kind of cover all those bases, don't you? We try to, yes. Uh, you know, many different breeds and disciplines in as we can. And, and it worked out really well out there because there's a lot of them. The dressage people are very strong. The trail riders are strong. And this year and last year, we're doing the um, Mustang Adoption for the young people and the adults there at the event. So they come in and do three days of that and then sell, put the horses up for adoption. Now tell us a little more about that. They actually come in and, and do like a training contest or what? How exactly does that work? Yes. These, these horses have been given to these kids uh, 90 days out and they, they train them and work with them and then they come in and they have a, an in hound, they have an obstacle course and they do some riding. I mean, it, show what they've accomplished in that length of time. Yeah, I, I think uh, I talked to some of those folks when I was out there last year, and, and uh, then it's what, it's on Sunday they have the auction, right? Right, yeah. Yeah, and there's some nice horses in that auction, and they've really worked down well. Yes, and, and they had some good buyers. I mean, they sold some for quite a bit of money, which was really good because it goes to support that that base of doing it, you know, for the kids and the horses and everything. Right. So now for this year, the dates again are what, March 23rd, 4th, 5th? Yeah, 23rd, 24th, 25th. Uh -huh. And it's in Albany, Oregon at the um, what, Lynn County Fairgrounds, am I right? Yes. Yeah. Okay. Correct. Uh, all three days. Tell us uh, a little bit about the different clinicians you got coming in this year to add their uh, expertise. Well, we have uh, Josh Lyons coming in. First time we've had Josh. It's kind of interesting. It's we started 19 years ago, we had his dad, John. But now Josh is up and doing this, and we, we invited him in this year, and he's coming. Uh, Elizabeth Graves, Steve Rother. Uh, yeah, let's see who the other. We had a couple of, couple of situations here where we had a cancellation. and had uh, uh, Debbie could not come, so uh, the lady by the name of uh, Christy, uh, I can't think of her last name right now, is filling in for that. 
But that's for that's, dressage, I believe, right? Yes, that's for dressage. Right. Person. Right. But you've got uh, you've got all these different dressage uh, from dressage to to western to trail to the Mustang Challenge, all yeah, of these right. different clinics, and then you've got a speaker hall where you have um, people who lecture on subjects where it's in a like a combined a combined uh, or a controlled theater area where they can do slide presentations, pen, you know, PowerPoints and the like. Yes, yeah, yes, we've got quite a bit of that. We've got some veterinarians, a lady from uh, Ohio State University, um, Oregon, Oregon. Oregon. Get the old I, I heard the prompt <laughs> in the background there. <laughs> <laughs> well, Ohio, Ohio just came out, right? I hear you. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> And that's that's quite a deal because man, you know these people that if, if they don't have the room or the space or the wherewithal to have a horse, but they yeah. love horses. A lot of these kids, you know, their Briar model horses are are their entire world, and uh, th this is really a big thing to to bring that in. It's it's much yeah. bigger than a lot of people would anticipate. Right, right. We've had really, really good responses. This will be the third year we've had it, and it's it's, it's growing every year. Uh, they have their competitions and their competitiveness and their, what they call their horse show. And they have set up models of, of farms and horses together. And it's, it's really neat. Now, what other special events have you got planned? Big pardon? Special events like entertainment or challenges or... Well, the, uh, the main thing we've got for challenges is the Mustang Makeover competition and, and the adoption of it. And the rest of them are pretty much uh, clinician. And we got the breed demonstration and stallion row. All the different breeds that come in. We've got like 10 or 12 different breeds of horses will come in every day and show off what their breed can do and how they handle them and, and invite you back to their stalls to see what about more about them and their breed. Yeah. And, now, one, uh, of, one of those groups, I think, uh, aren't the Black Pearl Frisians coming again, or am I mistaken? Yeah. And, and they do kind of a special presentation, right? Oh, yeah. Yeah, they do quite a presentation. And, we, and we've got a drill team that comes in and does a drill uh, activity that's really, really good. And, they, and I, we always have, we've kind of been fascinated with the drill teams on the West Coast because they're really fast and quick. We've had some in the, some of the other events we do that, that don't go near that fast, but they do it out there, and they're very competitive. They have contests to see if they can qualify and win, you know. And uh, so we, we have one of those come in and do a demonstration every day. Yeah, they've, uh, the drill team, uh, drill teams on the West Coast, they have a big competition every year. I believe it's down in San Francisco at the Cow Palace. And, yeah. and uh, you know, a lot of those drill teams up and down the West Coast, they really get after that competition. Oh, yeah, they get real serious about it. Yeah. Yeah, yeah don't get in their way. <laughs> So, uh, so anyway, you got a, a wide variety of things. Now, uh, one of the things I like about horse fairs is, like you've mentioned all your clinicians, you've mentioned your speakers in the lecture hall, uh, and, of course, the, um, you know, all of the specialties, the breed demonstrations, the Mustang Challenge, but you've also got a great shopping venue. Anybody, it's, uh, it's in the spring, so if you're getting ready to get out and get going for the spring or the summer with your horses, you can find almost anything you want shopping-wise as well. Yes, we have two buildings, two vendor buildings uh, full of vendors, and we have all the shopping that you want from horse trailers to a pair of boots to, you know, some jewelry people, and, and not everything. Uh, and, you know, horse people buy everything. So we just <laughs> kind of diversify a lot. It doesn't have to be horse, you know, so to speak, because horse people use and buy everything. We have some feed companies and, you know, different things like that. Well, that, that's, course, that's true. Horse trailers. people. Yeah. Go ahead with trailers. Yeah, Aiken Trailers is our number one sponsor. He comes in with quite a few, quite a setup with some really neat trailers. And uh, they're really good people to work with. Well, and, uh, you know, the horse trailer industry, you know, when I first started pulling horses around, everybody had a little two-horse, like a Miley or something, that, 
you know, that everybody had. And, and, uh, and now the horse trailer market is just phenomenal what they've done, you know, with all the living quarters and, you know, actually the, those trailers now cost more than my first house did. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> I can relate to that. <laughs> <laughs> but it's really, it's really neat. And, and I had a champion trailer. I don't think either one of them are still in business anymore. But <laughs> yeah, they, uh, you know, it was all that little two horse, you know, six foot trailer and, and yep. uh, that was it. But yeah. so, John, how does everybody contact you or find out about this? What's your website and all that about the Northwest Horse Fair? Our website, uh, equinepromotions.net. Okay, and it's the um, Northwest Horse Fair and Expo. Uh, Horse Fair and Expo. It's in Albany, Oregon. You're what? Just a little over an hour south of Portland, Oregon. Yeah, yeah. Uh, a little over an hour from the airport. Yeah. Yeah, you're cl real close to Salem, to the capital. And uh, it's right off of the freeway, the Lynn County Fairgrounds, March 23rd, 4th, and 5th. And, of course, we at Speaking of Horses, we're going to be there, and, and we look forward to that every year. But uh, what's the admission, John? Uh, it's, uh, at the gate, it's uh, $14 for adults, $12 for kids, and 5 and under is free. <laughs> so you can, you can see tons of stuff. Uh, for a, a very minimal, you know, cost, and, and you couldn't go and see any one of these clinicians individually, you know, for that kind of money. No. Well, John, we're about out of time, but thank you. Uh -huh. And thank you for joining us right here on Speaking of Horses. King Barnes, located in New Holland, Pennsylvania. If you want a great custom-built barn, you've got to contact kingbarns.com. All kinds of customized barns, top-grade materials, and wonderful custom design to meet your request. Please check out King Barns today. Source Nutrition, one of the fine sponsors, Source Nutrition Micronutrients, developed from the seaweed harvested off the coast of Maine, aids in digestion, helps with older horses, Keeps everything moving fine in your horse's digestive tract. Check out Source Nutrition. Well, that's our show. I'm your host, Wayne Williams. Speaking of horses, we'll be back next week with a brand new show. Or join us at speakingofhorses.com.